We all remember that iconic experiment we did as kids. Baking soda. A little red food coloring for effect. Some vinegar. And there we have it. A nice little visual of a volcanic eruption. And then there was the plastic bottle and the balloon experiment. We filled the plastic bottle with vinegar first. Then took the balloon and poured baking soda in it. We stretched the balloon over the mouth of the bottle, dumping the baking soda in, and the balloon would magically expand before our eyes. The effects that we observed in these experiments was made possible by the chemical reaction between the sodium bicarbonate in the baking soda and the acidic acid in the vinegar, which produces an odorless, colorless gas called carbon dioxide, which happens to be about 1.5 times heavier than the air around it. If we take the balloon and isolate some of that carbon dioxide in a cup, even though we can't see it, we can pour it out just like water. A flame requires oxygen to work. So when we flood this candle with carbon dioxide, it pushes all the oxygen out of the way, effectively starving the flame and snuffing it out. In today's experiment, we'll be setting up an environment that allows us to actually see carbon dioxide gas and the way that it interacts with the air around it. All right, guys, I am so excited to try this experiment. It's been kind of bouncing around in my mind for several months now. We have a 30 gallon aquarium, and this is gonna be where this experiment takes place within those glass walls. I have a glass bowl at the bottom, and that's where I'm gonna be dumping the baking soda in with the vinegar, and that's gonna be our CO2, our carbon dioxide generator. And what I'm hoping happens is all of that carbon dioxide kind of comes out of the bowl and spreads out and comes to rest on the bottom of this fish tank, maybe a six inch layer of carbon dioxide. We won't be able to see it, of course, until step number two. We're gonna take the fog machine out. And if you don't have a fog machine and you love uh, physics, you love fluid dynamics, I highly recommend you get one because there's so many fun things that you can do with them to help you visualize these awesome uh, scientific principles and what have you. So we're gonna take the fog machine and we're gonna introduce some fog into the tank. And the fog that comes out of this particular fog machine is just slightly heavier than air. So what I'm hoping happens is that all this fog kind of spreads out and settles and comes to rest on this invisible layer of carbon dioxide. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get this visual of where all that CO2 is and where the air sits on top of it. I hope this works. I think it's gonna look awesome. Let's give it a try, I can't wait. All right, the fog machine is warmed. It's ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this little, I don't know why I'm using a spoon, but I'm just gonna dump some baking soda into my little bowl here. And this is where the chemical reaction is gonna be taking place. Next thing we're gonna do is take the vinegar, pour that in and get a nice layer of blanket of carbon dioxide gas that sits on the bottom of this tank, hopefully. And there's the chemical reaction taking place. Let's introduce some fog. Just a little bit. We may need to cool the fog with ice so that it's a little heavier. But there we go, there we go. Look at the layer there, you see that? You can see right there is a defined layer. Okay, so for round two, I've taken this black uh, light absorbing sheet. So that'll hopefully cut the glare See how that looks. Okay, coming around the side. Yes, there we go. There is the layer right there. Now watch what happens when I cause a disturbance. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Look at that motion from left to right. The air around it is treating the carbon dioxide like water. Look at that. It's sloshing. So here's a beautiful visual. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Right here, this is that boundary layer between air 
normal air mixed with fog and carbon dioxide. All down here that's clear of fog, it's carbon dioxide. It's not letting this fog penetrate the surface. So now we're going to see what happens when we take some ice and put it in this little container. And then we're going to put the fog in this bottle, let the ice cool it. So now it's going to be pretty heavy. And then we're going to distribute that inside the tank of carbon dioxide and see what happens. So for this round, we're going to take that jug. We're going to take this jug that has ice in it. And then we're going to put fog in it. Okay. So now what's going on is the ice that's in this jug is cooling the fog, making it much heavier than air, probably uh, perhaps even heavier than carbon dioxide because when a gas becomes cold, it becomes more dense, more packed tightly together. That's why airplanes fly better in cold weather than they do in hot weather because the air is more dense and thicker. All right. So this is going to be really interesting to see what happens. When I release this in, it's going to be, initially, it's going to fall very quickly, the fog, because it's so cold and heavy. Look at how quickly, look at that, it's like it hit a floor. Wow, look at that, look at how it stops right on that level of carbon dioxide. Whoops. Look at that, isn't that neat? And you can see there's some little bubbles that are able to penetrate through that layer, similar to how when you try to hold sand in your hands or water in your hands, how it works its way through your fingers and drips through. That's the same thing that's going on here. This ice is now, or this fog is now heavier in some parts. It's heavier than the carbon dioxide because it's cooled by the ice. It's more dense. So look at that. That is a really interesting result right there. And look at the air current. Look at the air's going this way here, and below it's going this way. There's like some, some wind shear going on there. That's just beautiful. You can see it's a beautiful defined layer. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had such a good time seeing this take place. It's so fun to just be able to visualize the fluid dynamics, the different densities of air, what have you. If you guys found this video interesting, uh, please do reach down and hit the subscribe button because there's a lot more stuff coming with this fog machine. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.